Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit for an audio check because every single time I played this for some reason, not the game, uh, I don't know what exactly it is, audio cuts out midway. And so, or at least has a static effect. So I'm just gonna give it a minute or two, let chat build up in the meantime, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Only when I stream, though. Only when I stream. Smash Bros, it's fine. But. And. Well, I guess I don't really play this on my own all that much, so. When I did last time, I wasn't doing it, but. It's just one of those things. Yeah, I was like on Coco Lilies. Did I post it in Discord? Um, hmm, that would be a good idea. You know what? <laughs> I'll take chat's advice and uh, post that in, in Discord. I'm just giving it a little bit just to have a little bit of an audio test. Because I wouldn't think it's this specific game. I don't know why I would do it. I was just playing Smash Bros. yesterday. And it was not doing anything in particular with audio. So, uh, I would assume it's the same. But, I guess you can't really assume anything when you're trying to troubleshoot stuff. You now what happens when you assume, right? It was what on purpose? Me forgetting the notification? No, no, no. It was if that's what you're referring to. It, no, I, I totally forgot. Maybe because I'm broadcasting it. Maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that is it. I wouldn't think that's necessarily the case, but... But I don't know. Because I remember when I was playing Breath of the Wild, like, that was my first series, and it happened there, but... Not all that often. I think early, early on it did. And then for Paper Mario, it didn't happen at all. So maybe it is between games. Maybe there's, like, a certain, like, you know... Pitch or something, or a note that the music hits. That just causes it, but... Okay. I think it's I think it's been long enough. I haven't heard anything, so I'll just go and get right back into it. So I'm gonna be streaming this today and as well as on Wednesday. So next time I stream, because I'm pretty sure I can beat this game by then. Um not entirely sure. I'm not trying to sound cocky. It's just based on how far I am in the game, I'm pretty sure that that's how close I am. So we'll see. Cause this boss here is if I remember correctly, the way it goes, even when I played on man, was one of the hardest bosses for me to deal with. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this without getting hit once, but we'll see. There's one attack in particular, I don't even know, even till this day, I don't know how to avoid it. So, I guess I'm just going to have to deal with that. You think I can do it? Well, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate the confidence booster. Oh, he really launched that close to me, didn't he? See, it always... It, it does it a little bit now, too. I'm like, what is going on? This is a... Just a weird audio effect. So I'm like, I'm just... I'm bamboozled. Hey, how's it going, me too? I'm so bamboozled by uh, tech troubles. Oh gosh, okay, I thought that thing was still alive. I was like, <laughs> this thing won't die. Back from holiday not long, not long ago. Nice, well, I hope it's going well. I am, I'm hoping and looking forward to playing it later today. My allergies have been quite a pain because it's been so, uh, 
It's been so windy where I'm at, so. Oh, a stream keep going? Uh oh. Well, I hopefully hopefully it, it picks up. I think. I guess the rest of the chat can let me know if it's happening to them too. It, it looks fine on my end, because I know last time it was a. Uh, it cut out, but. I'll, I'll keep tabs on it too, just in case. It might just be you. Well, hopefully it, it does it does get fixed, like it it picks up and whatnot. Um, yeah, because I there's a couple things I think as as me as a streamer I could do, but I'm not sure uh, if they would fix the thing or not if, if the connection's on like one end. Because I know there's like ways that you can like reduce like uh, um like the quality that you're sending this stuff through, but then that would be for everybody too. So. Just little things here and there, I know, but I'm not like a professional, so, oops, <laughs> I was not aiming at him, um, but I'm not entirely like a professional, so I don't know beyond that point. I know there's like something like bitrate that can be adjusted, but that's about it. Okay, so you're trying to use a, a computer instead of a laptop, um, and the computer's um, younger than the laptop by it's about ten years. Yeah, that's that's quite a quite a long time in terms of electronics too. Yeah, the lifespan of, of electronics tends to be very finicky at times, no less. There we go. I don't have to fight that thing. I have to fight that thing though. That one I can't get past. There's no way. I just remembered last time I tried to do it, and I can't do it. So I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna challenge the second one, which is really unfortunate because the second one's actually uh like the second one's actually the one that takes longer to get past. Oh jeez, I didn't even get up all the way. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll take it slow. I'll take it slow. Um, okay, let me just catch up chat real quick. Uh, I've been trying to find a screwdriver so you can open the old computer and clean it. Is it like just a standard screwdriver? Because I know some like electronics have like some very specific like. Wow, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even think that. I didn't even try to avoid it because I'm like, I'll just move to the left or to the right. <laughs> so many deaths. Did I change the settings for an eight bot? Yeah, yeah, I changed the settings so, uh, just to give like standard like periodic notifications it shouldn't be too often it's it's set for quite a while because i don't want to spam chat but that's just one of the things i added to so if anybody's ever curious then that that's what's popping up so oh it has a ton of dust in it yeah that that <laughs> that might be a contributing factor for sure yeah because a lot of dust will just like in general like just make it overheat which is like one of the major things but Oof, it's a good thing I didn't challenge that. These, uh... Those enemies are not okay. I guess I can let it... burn all its energy. And then get past it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that one's dead, that one's dead. I'm not gonna challenge that. Gosh, I'm so afraid of it now. It's not even that hard of an enemy, but I have enough time to react. <laughs> I'm just like, I've already died so many times. Can we catch up again? Um, don't want to use it. It might just be, uh, might just try giving it away or selling it for dirt cheap. Uh, it's really small for most computers. If there's something too that can be scrapped from it, like, um, I say scrapped, but like, that, that's mostly like if it doesn't work at all. But like, yeah, if there's something that can be like taken from it, then that would also be like a good idea too. Like utilize it for maybe like an upgrade or something like that. Because um, I know a lot of people do that too. If they have like a computer that isn't working that well, but let's say it has like a good, uh, um, like let's say like RAM or like um, 
like a, a graphics card, especially nowadays, like a graphics card, if like that's the thing. But maybe like the processor is not as great. Um, then they'll they'll take what they can, you know. But yeah, it depends. If it's if it's that old, then there might not be too much. But even as much as like a a fan cooler is pretty good too. Like a CPU fan cooler can be pretty useful. I decided to go back this way and save because um, that way I think I don't have to take as long of a journey each time when I uh, reload. I think I can just take the shortcut now. So I figured I may as well do that. Except for <laughs> walking in on there and now I have to deal with that. This, this boss, I hope I beat this boss without taking any damage because I've taken so much damage getting up to it that like... I'm actually surprised how hard this area is for me to get through. It shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> it's so... I feel like... Oh gosh, uh, drop. Okay. I feel so bad. I'm like, I'm not trying to like... I'm not trying to like rush through it. I legitimately just get caught off guard or like something hits me. <laughs> I'm not thinking he's gonna hit me. Am I nervous? No, I don't think so. I don't feel like I am. Okay, that was a bad spot. Either... I kind of just, like, panicked there. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. So I gotta be cautious with the thing up top and the thing to the right. I think this area is, like, such a dangerous crossroads. It's like crossing the street as a pedestrian at a four-way stop. Just got things coming from all different directions that you shouldn't have to be dealing with. You, you still have to deal with it. <laughs> Except for, you know, these monsters actually know what they're doing. Okay. I'm gonna just rush for the one on the right. Wait, that... <laughs> Dang it! Why is... This is a worse route. This is a worse route. I'm just going back to the, the first one. It's just such a bad spot to be in because it's like you have you have a time limit for this thing. And then you have to worry about the other thing coming from up top. I was holding to the left there. <laughs> why is this so hard? <laughs> oh man, why is this part so hard for me to get through? I'm like genuinely stumped. I'm like this. This is so absurdly hard, I don't know why. Can I shoot him through the floor? Yeah. Um, that was it, like, your, by your house, there's a four you stop leading to the freeway since the hill it's very dangerous, and now there's stoplights. Yeah, like, it's kind of crazy how that stuff isn't thought about, like, beforehand, too. Like, it takes, like, an accident or, like, something, you know, worse to happen for them to be like, oh, you know what, let's just go ahead and, you know, add this. Like, as much as there are, like, you know, pedestrians have, like, right away and stuff like that, it's like, nobody... <laughs> Nobody notices that for one reason or another. If they don't see it, or like they just don't care, because they're just like, "Oh, well, I get the right away." Um, it's so commonplace. Okay. I tried to drop down. I tried to drop down. I tried. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why? Why is this so hard? This is so stupid. <laughs> It's funny to me more than anything, but like at the same time, I'm like, gosh, this is like, this is like crazy to me how much I'm messing up on this. People busy can't ask for a screwdriver. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's if there's like, I don't know the layout of the PC because I know there's like other things too that can be used to open it, but. I wouldn't necessarily vouch for it. I think if it looks like it needs a screwdriver, I'd say go for that. The safest bet. Okay, so there we go. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to rush through, so I'm just gonna kill him from here. There we go. Okay, 
Alright, that one's dead. And the worst part is too, I think if I... I don't even think there's like a save spot next to the boss itself. I think I actually have to go through this route every single time. I might be wrong, and I really hope I am, but I think I think that's actually the case. So, who boy. Try using the circle edge of a thumbtack too tight. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's like something I can think of too, is like maybe something like that. Um, but yeah, if it's if it's too tight, I'd say just play it safe. Because the worst thing too is like stripping the screw. And that just makes things significantly worse. Like a strip screw is, is no fun. It's no fun at all. Okay, that thing's there. I don't even want to deal with that. Just upon walking into that room. Okay, it's still walking. Maybe I can do this. Okay, now it's dead. Uh, and I'm, I'm like, I'm seeing how close I am to the thing too, and I'm like, nope, it is, it is really one of those situations. Oh my gosh, the thing almost hit me. <laughs> also, those bot settings should not be that often, so... Um, it's set on like a timer, so that that's why it's starting now. It just happens to be that I, I start a stream later. Um, but it shouldn't be appearing that often, if you guys see that. I'm going to try to make sure it doesn't appear that often either, because it's only been twice so far. But... It's not set to do it that often in like a 15 to like 20 minute time span. That would just be annoying. Okay. I haven't gone this far, so I don't know where their enemies are at. Oopsie. Okay. And anything up here? Okay. I had my eye on it, but I couldn't kill it before. Uh, I don't see anything up there. Okay. Oh, it's one of these things. <laughs> oh, man. I I hate these doors. Everything in this game is so much harder than it needs to be. The computer style is a product key sticker on it. Nice. Yeah. That's that's always good. So you kind of have more information on it, too. Oh, <laughs> why? This game is really cool. It is actually a really cool game. I absolutely love it. It's just this is the hardest difficulty because I've already beaten this game twice. Uh, once on normal, once on very hard. And then now this one's like a one hit and you're dead kind of mode. So it's it's very difficult. It's very fun. But it's, it is very difficult to get through the game without taking any damage. Um, granted, it's not like you reset from the beginning, but it's, it's still hard nonetheless. <laughs> and I'm just like messing up and like in ways that I guess I had messed up before in the past, but with higher stakes, it's it's a lot. It's a lot more brutal. Yeah. So I, I every single time I'm dying, it's it's not because I have low HP. It's just because um that that is the difficulty of this mode. It's like it's like in Hollow Knight where you're like in the vault or the uh, the realm of the gods, um, as it's called. I can't remember. If that's what it's called. Um, it's like that. So, yeah, the god home, yeah, where you like you get hit once and you're you're out of the battle. It's like that. So it's 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 getting pretty intense right now because this is like a pretty hard part in the game too. Like where it starts to pick up a little bit more. Yeah, the one shot kill thing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, those doors too aren't. They're not too difficult, but like you kind of have to know when it's gonna do it. So you have to know it, like, you kind of know the timing for it too. What I do an update uh, called Extra Dread Mode, but when you die, you really start back from the beginning. I don't think I would be able to do that. Oh gosh. I don't think I'd be able to do it, honestly speaking. I would probably get decently far and then something like this would happen where I die 
you know? Because <laughs> it's just like, having one thing kill you is just like, is really brutal on some of the enemies, especially later in the game. There's This game gets a lot harder at certain points. There's one enemy in specific that I'm looking forward to uh, finding in a Gavarin, and I don't even know how that's going to be, because um, it, it doesn't exactly hurt you, but it kind of does. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how... Oh, I did actually grab it. Wait, what? That respawned? That's not fair. <laughs> Why'd that respawn? I'm in the same room. <laughs> what was that? Why did it respawn? That makes no sense. Um, only have one radiant boss on your uh, radiant boss on your current save since lost access to your first save on Switch. Uh, haven't spent much time in uh, God Home on my recent save yet. Well, I wish you the best of luck for that, because that's that's not uh, that's oh my gosh, I did too soon. I did too soon. Ugh, why is this door so hard to get through? Um, I wish you the best of luck on that though, because yeah, it it. It's really satisfying, and I actually do plan to do that on stream. Like, I want to try a couple of those battles for sure. I think I tried one. Um, and I did okay, but not. I wasn't able to do the one-shot one. But then again, I didn't try, like, all that much. I think I tried, like, three times. Uh, <laughs> and this boss. This boss is going to wreck me so much, too. Um, but... It, it does feel like a pretty pretty fun mode overall. Just kind of like three stages to a boss. You get to fight the boss again and, you know, have a harder harder time with it. But but I guess I'll, I'll reserve judgment for the later bosses. Because there's some bosses that I'm sure that I had a difficult time with that I have no idea how they're going to be on, on that mode. See, now I know the rhythm for this part, so I'm just, like, getting through it for the most part without too much trouble. And, uh... Okay. I messed that up. Okay, cool. Um... But actually getting through that door, I... I am not crazy about the fact that that door is there. That door is so hard for some reason. I don't know why. I don't even think every single time i played it in general. Um, hard mode or not, I've had that much trouble with it. Oh, I just died. Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. I don't... Is that why I respawned last time? Because I didn't kill it? Okay, let's back up. Okay, there we go. Ugh. I want to go back and save too, but like the journey's so not. Gosh, this <laughs> is such a tough choice. This is such a tough choice. Do I go back and risk getting hit just to go save? Or do I uh, go forward? Do it as in do it, go back and save, or do it as in do it, go and go for the fight. <laughs> a one radiant, uh, one you have is a harder boss, but I fought them enough to know uh, that they're the one harder boss that you're good at. <laughs> it's always nice when you read like do a boss so many times that you just kind of like know the rhythm of it. The second one, go back and go back and save. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad nothing respawned down there. Oh, uh. oh no, go and fight the thing? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I mixed it up. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, okay. 
Let's mentally prepare myself for this. <laughs> um, one of the hardest bosses in the game is also one of the only ones you're good at. That's at least a good thing, yeah, because if you can tackle that, you can tackle anything, really. You'll have to tell me which one it is, too, when I, when I do the God Home, because... I'm, depending on how things go, I might be able to try and tackle some today. I'm not entirely sure where I'm at in the game in relation to everything, but uh, especially at this point. I love them when I see them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> a good soundtrack is always nice for a game. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. But everything else, I'm like, oh no, it's going to be so memorable. Oh, gosh, I really, I really hope this is somewhat of a checkpoint. I know it's not, but like, I have a deep wish so much that this is a checkpoint. This is such a hard boss for me. There's like one attack I just don't know how to dodge. Like, I've dodged it before and I feel like it's just luck based. <laughs> Believe in me, thanks. <laughs> I'll try, I will try my best. Okay, so blue ones you can destroy. Okay, so I gotta hang on. Okay. I'm just missing it. I'm like hitting the top part. Okay. Oh, I tried to jump too. You can parry it. I didn't think you could parry it. I tried to jump and I was like, oh wait. <laughs> oh man. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. That was the biggest concern I had. Yes. Yes. I don't even care how much I die against this thing now. I was hoping so much that, that would be a checkpoint. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how much of a relief that is. This attack is... Yeah, that attack, it's that attack. I don't know how to dodge that attack. That attack is so, like, for me, it's so, um, it's so weird. Like, it looks like you have enough time to do it, but it doesn't feel like it when you're playing it. Checkpoints are friend. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> checkpoints are absolutely friend. I will, I will always accept checkpoints. For sure, 100%. And especially in this game, too, with, like, this game is actually really good with the checkpoints, too, so I'm glad they incorporated that as a checkpoint. Um, because this game is actually pretty good with the checkpoints. It definitely keeps the pacing, for sure. Okay, I gotta get those parries off if I have any chance, if I want to have any chance of this. This attack is gonna kill me. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how to deal with those. Those tentacles are so harsh. But I'll do it. I'll do it. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> yeah, that's why I mentioned. I, I don't know if I said it in Discord. I know I mentioned it last stream for sure. This is honestly the boss that I was the most concerned about in this game. Okay. Okay, so I did it. I dodged it. If I can dodge that, then I can do anything. Anything at all. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now this part... Oh, it does do damage. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't even think that should have hit me too. <laughs> I actually feel like I timed that as best as I could. It's actually not the first attack with the tentacles that I was thinking of. It's the second one. Yeah. Because after dodging the, the tentacles that time, I was like, oh wait, no, this one 
this one felt doable. There's one in particular that it just feels really, really, really weird. It, it's the second one. Yeah, that one's that one's pretty easy, so I'll take that back. But that other one, the charged up one, I have no idea. And that was the issue that I had a lot when I was first doing this, um, even on my own, is that as I was doing it, I felt like I was doing it right, and then I wasn't like on on time with it. See, that one's pretty easy. This is gonna be. <laughs> This is going to be something, but it's it's not that hard of a fight in terms of like how long it is. It's just avoiding the attacks with one uh, HP. That That's actually where the challenge lies in this the most. Because I think if I can do this twice, like he's dead. Like if I can just get through this one more time, he, he should be dead. You see, it's so... It's like so precise. It's so precise. <laughs> yeah. F's in the chat. Oh man. This is this is gonna be a thing. If he doesn't do that attack against me, like if RNG is on my side, then I'm set. But I'm essentially just hoping the game doesn't do what it um doesn't do what it should do. Ooh. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't hit me. That was actually really surprising. I feel like I should have died there. Okay, cool. Like, when I did this on very hard mode, after, like, I learned the way to do it, um, from my mistakes on the first stream, um, it took me, like, it, it wasn't, it was not long at all. It actually took me, like, maybe five minutes. Wait, what? Why did I get taken out? That was weird. <laughs> what was that? I got taken out of it. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, here it comes. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> Whoops. But can you imagine if there's no checkpoint here? Like, how how bad that would be? That was what I was mostly concerned about. I happened to go through the whole entire thing. I'd be like, I can't subject you guys to that. I'd have to, like, drop the whole series. Like, honestly, if it got to that point... Whoops. Huh. Well. I didn't think that would kill me, but... If it got to that point where, um... It was actually taking me that long, I would have actually just, like, done it on my own time and then just uploaded the completed clip and it'd be like, here, if you want the... Like, the... You know, director's cut or whatever. Well, director's cut means that nothing's been cut. Um, then here you go, you can fight on YouTube or something like that. Yeah, I can't tell if that was one of those instances, like, with Kraid, where, like, I, my arm got hit, but then not really, and then I just died. It felt weird, but... Uh-oh. Can I slide? No, I can only do more. Well, oh my gosh, he does it earlier. <laughs> That's such a dumb attack. I thought he only did it in his second form. I mean, he's got the... Wait, I don't even think I've reached the second form, actually. Well then. That's not good news. That's not good news at all. No, I haven't? Oh man. I thought when he has the electricity coming out of the tentacle that that is his second form. Am I remembering that wrong? I mean, it has been like over a month since I've really played. Actually, like two months. I think it's when he has electricity coming out of it. <laughs> he was going to attack me. He's just like, oh, wait, actually, I'm kind of low on health. <laughs> and just like re retreated. I don't know why that looks so funny to me. Okay. I thought I parried that, but I, th I think I put my missiles away too soon. Oh man, this boss. This boss is going to be... I don't think it's going to take me as long as Kraid, because it's not that long of a boss fight, but I feel like overall I'm going to die more against this one than I did Kraid. 
It's so oddly difficult. So opening part is second phase? Okay. Okay, that's good to know, yeah. Because I, I remember it's not very long at all, so I was like, if I haven't reached second phase yet... Okay. Yeah, so this should be second phase. That attack is so bad. I, I cannot, I cannot, I can't stress that enough. That attack, I, I legitimately don't know how to to avoid it. I have done it before, but the timing is just so whack with it. It's like it's the most precise attack in the game, I feel like. And there's probably something I'm missing too. I don't I don't know, maybe I'm making my life harder. Um, but there's there's something about that attack that I just have not been able to grasp. <laughs> what is this boss even supposed to be actually? Like a weird like tentacle monster thing? But like, I don't, I don't know past that what I'm, what I'm really looking at. <sighs> oh, man, this thing, I can't, I can't figure that out. Can I wall jump? Oh wait, can I wall jump? I don't think I can underwater. Let me try that real quick. No, I can't wall jump underwater. Okay, I thought I had it. I was like, wait, is that the thing? If if I had like slightly more wiggle room, I'd be fine. But the thing is that I, I, I might be seeing it wrong too, so I won't I won't assume it. But after looking at the playback with the crate, I know the game does have the tendency to do that. I feel like I'm getting either slightly grazed on the foot or it's like hitting me below the foot, like just barely. Um, and I know the hitboxes are sometimes off with that stuff. So that's why I mentioned that, like, I don't know why that's not so difficult. Oh, you know what I can do? <laughs> Wait, I think, I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I am, I'm a dork, guys. <laughs> I'm a dork, guys. I completely forgot I can just do that. Okay, well, this boss got significantly easier. I'm glad I came to the realization on stream. Maybe I wasn't supposed to dodge that attack. In which case, the fact that I've done it on my own time is that much more impressive because I have been able to avoid it by jumping, but it is, it is really hard. See, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's how close I was every single time. <laughs> as soon as I realized the way to avoid it, it's like, alright, as soon as I learned it, yep, it's done. Like, battle's over. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, always something new to learn every stream. You see, that's what I was saying. It's not a hard boss fight. It's, it's just not getting hit once that's difficult. Unless, you know... You don't play like me where you realize how you're supposed to dodge stuff. <laughs> In which case, that's significantly easier. <laughs> don't for learn from my example, kids. <laughs> there is a way to get this one. Um, before. I, I think. I, I might be wrong, actually. That would have been such a shorter fight if I figured it out from the start. Oh, you're absolutely right, it would have. <laughs> It absolutely would have been a much shorter fight. Like as soon as uh as soon as I figured it out, it was like it's already done, yeah. Battle was already over. Okay, I think I can make my way up top. 
Oh no, this is a this is a bad enemy. There's another one up there too. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, that boss is no longer the hardest boss in my book. I'll say that. <laughs> I don't know why that never occurred to me to do that. I, I, it's, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's, um, uh, excuse you. It's, um, it's embarrassing. Like straight up, it is embarrassing sometimes how like I'll miss some stuff on games that are so obvious that like, I just find how somehow I miraculously figure out a way to make this the fight significantly harder for myself <laughs> and it takes me so much longer than it needs to but I mean I'll take it I was expecting that fight to take longer honestly let's see yeah it's I don't know it's like the inner workings of our brain sometimes are just like you could do this to solve this problem very easily but what if it became harder and then like your brain's like genius and then like you sit there for 30 minutes <laughs> like that that's what happens to me so often you didn't find the deep nest until you're practically almost done with hollow knight gosh yeah that's i want to say i got there pretty early yeah it makes sense though because yeah it is it is locked behind the uh the nest i mean the um the, the Lord, sorry. So, like, you have to do that part first. So, it makes sense, because that, that fight's actually pretty difficult. Okay, so that's that. I can't get that yet, so I won't worry about that. Sometimes the mind isn't thinking fully. You see, that that's kind of it with me, is sometimes my mind thinks it's going to be very hard. So, then I make it very hard to, like, I guess complete that prophecy or something of like this is going to be very difficult so therefore it has to be very difficult and then I make it difficult for myself and I'm like whoops Ooh, okay I'm not even going to challenge these um, except for I don't have a choice because uh... okay there we go because I'm in, stuck in this room I'll try to go back okay so let's go up here over here what does this enemy do that plant just ate that animal in the background you guys saw that i never noticed that that poor little animal just got eaten <laughs> i'd never noticed that in all time all the times i've played this game i've never noticed that just like i almost didn't notice the enemy was right there yeah you just got eaten like straight up Oh, okay, it's one of these things. Oh, there's a wall here. Oh, dang it, I clipped the top. <laughs> oh, man, I was like, wait, where am I? My my head bonked the little uh, divot in the ceiling. Okay, okay. Okay, this game's on point with checkpoints again, so... Woo! Yeah, I was dead. The moment I didn't go to the right, I was dead. The attack has such a stupid hitbox. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay, okay. If I can beat the water dude, I can, I can do this. I can do this. I don't like the layout of this room, though. This room actually has a really bad layout, but... I think I'm going to have to get that parry down, though. Oops. What? <laughs> I didn't see any of those shots. I don't know why I didn't see any of those. I was so focused on him, I didn't realize he was shooting stuff. <laughs> yeah, R.E.P. random animal, though. That, that poor thing. <laughs> if I had never come into this room, he would have never been eaten because I would have never triggered that that sequence.
Oh my gosh, that was too close. That was too close. I can imagine somebody being this game though. As you mentioned, like the dread mode where like you start from the beginning. I can imagine that for sure. If there's people that can play like the Souls games um, front to back without taking any damage, there's people that could do that. There's some uh, incredibly talented people in the world for sure. I don't think I should have come down here. Okay, sweet. Die! <laughs> Die, he's so close. Whew. Gosh, I thought that was gonna kill me. <laughs> I was like cringing in my chair. Yes, okay, sweet. Like as soon as I saw the laser not come out when I thought it was going to, I immediately cringed. I was like, oh, okay, no, this is it. My light flashed before my eyes. Ah, oh, man, okay. <laughs> hey, you, you animals, don't go to the other room where there's like a giant flower. Just trust me on that. Oh wait, no, these are enemies. Oh gosh, okay. Almost, almost died to them. Almost died to them. That's the thing with this game too. It's so immersive at times where like you just don't realize that stuff's gonna kill you and like what's in the foreground and what's in the background and you know whatnot. Um, because like so many things just blend in with the environment too. Like look at that. I almost got killed by that thing. I'm pretty sure they killed me. Or they hurt me. I'm pretty sure. And I almost died from it twice. But I mean, that's that's a good thing. That's the good thing about this game is that like it it very much so is immersive. Things don't feel like obviously an enemy or not, but it's still threatening nonetheless. You know. Okay, so the enemy still should be shut down. Uh, I don't know if there's any other enemies in here. Hello, ice blue enemy, my favorite one. Really? Okay. That's a really, really delayed attack. You thought I liked the orange one? I like them both equally, honestly speaking. The orange one has a very nice, like, matte color. Um, but the blue one, I, I'm like a sucker for blue. Like, I, I like blue stuff, so. Um, they're both really nice looking, though, honestly speaking. Uploading data. I think I like the blue one though, because you actually get the screen Sandals. time with it. You are approaching the surface. This area, Gatherin, appears to be an underground forest. The enemy have been deactivated, but Raven Beat still desires to Metroid DNA within you. I have reviewed the video log of your encounter after your arrival. You were no match for him then. You are no match for him now. It is true that you have recovered many of your combat abilities. However, my analysis suggests that you would not be a worthy adversary for him, not even at full power. One thing still eludes me. Why did Raven Beak spare you during that encounter? Something must have motivated him. This computer is so condescending to me. <laughs> it's like you're no match, just give up. I mean, it does make sense later, but... Um, at least I think it does. Cause I'm not entirely sure what triggers the whole entire thing with that, but um, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. I don't remember what that spider enemy does. So I'm like, this is the enemy that I was actually most worried about. I'm kind of curious to see what happens with it. Um, it's not a hard enemy to deal with, so much as it is. I'm wondering if. So essentially, if that that laser touches you, it drains your HP. I don't know if that counts as an attack or not. 
So my biggest concern is that if I get touched by that light at all, I might just be dead. <laughs> and so that's why I bring it up. Um, Cause I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen with that. Like I almost have half a mind just to go ahead and go for it, but then I'm like, well, I don't, I don't want to figure it out if I don't need to, you know. Because it does, it does deal damage. It does, but it's not technically a hit, but it kind of is. So uh, that's what's been like on my mind. Whenever I refer to the like, Gavron, it was always this enemy. Because that is quite the hitbox. But all those missiles I got from that. Okay, so I'm here now. I don't think I need to do much in Cavern yet. But yeah, the orange one, the orange one does look really nice though. I actually like most of them. I think my least favorite one's probably like the lime green one for like aesthetic wise. Um, but the yellow one with how fast it is, is, is not cool too. But you get the whole power up from it. So that's at least a plus. So what do I have to do here? Okay, so... Okay, I can't go through there yet. Yeah, but I can go up. Okay. Oops, okay. Too late on that one. I thought it was going to be like he kind of draws back, then goes forward, but... He does that a lot quicker than I thought. Oops. Okay, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna rush up there. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh uh, man, I thought it was later, and then I did late, and then I thought it was earlier, and I did too early. Yeah, it's it's it is a nice blue. It is. I didn't realize it the first time I played through, but like looking back on it. Um, each one has like a, a separate color, even though like the first one and the second one look the same. I think one of them is actually like gray. Um, so like it kind of has a similar look to it. Wait, I can't go up there. Oh, am I not supposed to go this way? Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to come to Gavarin actually. Or uh, Dairon, sorry. I don't think I was supposed to leave um, Gavarin. Okay. Yeah, because I can't go through there yet. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Elevator's right here. I don't think this is a thing. Yeah. Alright, back to Gavern. Yeah, like the standard ones, there's... The first one I think is gray. The second one's white, and then the third one's lime green, then it goes yellow, then I believe light blue. I don't remember if it's light blue, then purple, or purple, then light blue. And then the last one's orange. Yeah, because I think the light blue one, you. I want to say you deal with it after you get purple. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, because the light blue one does help you with like the, the ice missiles. Like these things. Did I mention red? Was there a red one? I don't think there's a red one. Yeah, I don't I don't think there is a red one. Oops. I saw it, but I didn't think I was close enough. And then when it did its attack, I'm like, oh, no, I can. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's, it goes, there's seven in total. So there's gray, white, 
uh, lime green, yellow, light blue, um, purple, and orange. Yeah. Did I count that right? Yeah. Yeah. I have to, like, double check on, like, wait. <laughs> I know I'm streaming and all, but I think I can at least count. <laughs> like, let me just double check. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, okay, I'm supposed to go down here. Whoopsie. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Oh, no, these guys. <laughs> these guys are... Whew, okay. Okay, cool. That went a lot better than, than I had hoped. Uh, those, there's a version of that one that I'm actually concerned about, too, when I get to the later parts of the game. That one I don't know how I'm gonna do because that's one of the other fights that's actually legitimately hard to, to avoid getting hit once. Uh, stronger version of the missile. Uh, okay, so a super missile. For the green doors, I just need to remember how to get out of here. I think it's just this way. gonna try and get through these. And of course the door is like the slow one too. <laughs> Gosh, he's blowing up right next to him. He's so lucky. Okay, so now I can go through here. Oh sweet, that actually destroys a lot of them. Jeez. See, look at the workings on the map, too. Like, I just went through that place, flip this around, then go through it in a different part because I opened it, and then it flips this around. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the map layout on this game is actually really good. But the way it flows in with itself, um, it is it is really nice. It's very linear, too, which makes it, like, all the harder to, like, kind of, like, take a long time if you're... If you're like following your, you know, your instincts and like going to the places that you think you're supposed to go to, most likely you're right because that is the way they set it up. And I really do appreciate that. It does kill you in one hit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it would reach me from there, but it, it does. At least there's confirmation on that. Wow, that enemy is significantly more deadly now. Yeah, now I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oops, too early. I don't even know why I did that instead of the, the spark dash. Or the phantom shift, or whichever it's called. I remember I looked at it last time and I can't remember what it was. But yeah, that's that's honestly speaking really tough because it has a really huge hitbox. If each then every single time that thing like touches you, it's gonna kill you. That's really, really, really good. And I can't kill it as quick as I can. And even then I gotta wait for it to to go back away. Okay, I'm not even gonna challenge it up close. I'm gonna do it from here. Where's the bat? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, sweet. So now where's this gonna take me? Because I know I can't go to Dairon. 
Is this the point in the game I'm thinking it is? I think it is. If this is the point I'm thinking it is, which I'm almost positive it is, this is the point in the game where everything gets significantly harder. Like, not that it's, like, harder in the sense of, like, oh man, it's unbeatable, but, like, the difficulty does jump up. It does jump up quite a bit. So, I'm pretty sure this is it. There's only, like, so many areas in this game that are of this size. Like, you know things are about to get real when you get into an area and the first thing you find is the save point. And it's not even just this area, it's like, from then on. Like, yeah, it's, it's this one. It absolutely is this one. No, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's gonna be something, yeah. I, I'm sure I can manage it. It's gonna be something. And don't get me wrong, like, I, I do love it, but... Yeah, this is... This is gonna be it. Why do I love it? Just because of the challenge. It's gonna be more rewarding. <laughs> Every single thing, getting through every single thing is just going to be that much more, um, like, rewarding in a sense. Plus, the, the abilities you get from this point forward in the game are actually really, really nice. It, it honestly speaking, makes the, the gameplay a lot more fun. So, yeah, it's this area, yeah. You were here for the first stream, so I'm sure you remember, yeah, it's, it's this area. So every single enemy now that I kill... Can this thing even kill? Gosh, this thing is... I think it's invincible. Every single enemy I kill from this point forward is just going to have a second, a second form. Unless I'm, like, lucky enough to pick it up. And then, even then, some of them are just straight up just like, yeah, no, we're, we're going to have a second form no matter what. Uh, and you can't do anything about it. Like, look how many hits this is taking with the super missile, no less. There we go. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a thing. It is going to be a thing. I thought that thing in the background was gonna kill me. <laughs> So now I gotta deal with this guy. I don't remember the timing for parrying this thing, but there is there is a way to parry it. Gosh. I didn't even see it connect with me. I didn't see it connect at all. I saw the, the parry thing, and then it was kind of away from me, and I, I just died. Dang. Okay, let's skip this. Um, okay, keep moving forward. At least I know the timing of it, kind of, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. I think I should just focus on parrying it, though, because trying to, to shoot it, I'm not going to be able to kill it fast enough. Okay, so let's get out of the way of that. Close to it. I 
Gosh, I wasn't even counting how many missiles that was. What was that, like 11 or something? That was quite a bit. It was, it was, yeah, it was, it was definitely a bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, you can't parry that one. You can't do that one. I thought that was one you could parry. It is, it is not. It looks like the other ones you can parry, but yeah, that one, I guess you just got to avoid it. You saw the warrior jumping in the background? Was there one? I see the armor here. I didn't see the warrior though. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay attention more to it this time around. You saw it? I always miss that warrior. I think it's in a different area the first time I that you mentioned I missed it. But yeah, like even when I played it again, I missed it again, even though I knew there was that spot. Let's count how many this is. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, gosh, 14 missiles. <laughs> so you really are just supposed to parry them then. That's why I'm gonna take it out because parrying it just doesn't like one hit. There's that enemy in the background. I did see that one. Okay. So shortly before I died. Okay, I'm looking. Oh, it looked like a word. Oh, no worries. No, you're fine. Yeah, I was like, wait, I don't, I don't think I see one. I don't know if I have to be close to that thing to parry it, so I guess I'll try and be close. Okay, so plasma beam. As hard as this area is, and from here on forward, this is honestly speaking one of the best items I can get for this boat <laughs> the fact that I can attack their walls and um damage robotic enemies with this is really good um wait no I'm, I'm wrong on one of those okay no I can attack enemies it doesn't go through walls <laughs> sorry I'm thinking of something else I have to wait for a certain enemy for that okay this game's still gonna be pretty hard from this point forward <laughs> I'm so glad that was higher than it was than I thought it was. Because I almost died there. Easily. Easily almost died. Uh okay, so if I go back up, it's just gonna take me around. I think I I do need to do that though. Oops! <laughs> he didn't even have to <laughs> He didn't even have to attack, he just walked into me. Can you imagine that? Just like running walking around in public and somebody bumps into you? Uh, excuse me, bumps into you. You're just like, oh, sorry, man, and then you just like plop over and die. Let's back away for a sec. That would be terrifying. Oh, it absolutely would be. I was like, is that actually hitting it? You'd have to have, like, yourself, like, fully bubble wrapped at all times. There's another one joining in. Whew. Gosh, it makes the whole entire thing uh, 
Like a danger zone as well. Not even the side that it's on. It's it's actually the whole entire thing. That's that's really brutal. Okay, another door. Okay, sweet. Is this... Okay, yes it is. Good luck, thanks. Yeah, it's this fight now. Yeah, this is... This one's... This one's not terrible. I will say I'm more confident about this one than I am about the robots that chase you around the room. Oops. Gosh. I didn't think I actually reacted that slow. He was, uh... Oh, it's probably because I went to the right and then left, so he was going to attack me there. Okay. Third time's a charm. Gosh, that still actually hit me. <laughs> I didn't think I landed on it, um, like on the like the the main thing. I thought I landed behind it, but I think I actually did kind of land on it. To be honest, I, I'll have to go back and confirm that to myself. I may have jumped a little too early. Was that actually the third time? I know I said third time's a charm, but I actually don't remember if that was the third time or not. <laughs> Did I secretly call it? I don't even know why I'm still trying to get these. It's not like I can utilize them. <laughs> I think it was the third time too, yeah. Let's see, I think this is just... Uh, actually, this might be more than a... An, uh... Tank upgrade. Yeah, how's it going, Noodle? You're very tired. Oh no. <laughs> Here, then to to help help you wake up, I will I will make this like a screamy stream where I just like constantly just like scream and everything. Like even even something that's not that big of a deal. I'll like. What's his name? I'll Jimmy Fallon in it, where instead of like laughing at everything, even if it's not funny, I'll just like scream. <laughs> I think it's I think I'm getting the the correct one. I'm pretty sure it's Jimmy Fallon. There's like two Jimmies that have like tonight shows or shows that pop up like on Saturday nights, I can't remember. I can't remember who the other one is, but I'm assuming I'm rooming the correct one if that's the one coming to my mind. Oh, that'll give you a headache? Oh, no. Yeah, no, no, you're fine. I, w I wouldn't do that.
Look at the horrors I've unleashed upon the world. I'm not dealing with that. Let's save. You're also recovering from a headache, so you don't want that. Oh no. Gosh, what is today with headaches? Is there like something in the air today? Knock on wood, but like my allergies were like flaring up today because the weather over here is not great. Um where I'm at. And so I was concerned about that, but I mean I'll take that over a headache. A headache is is not fun. Gosh, you know what? Now that you guys mentioned it, I had a headache yesterday too. Wait, what is going on? <laughs> I saw like this article. I didn't read into it, and I, honestly speaking, I don't even know if it's like just like clickbait or what, so do not quote me on this because I barely skimmed it. It's like a recommended article when I was Googling something on my phone, but it's like the US has to suffer through like uh like polar ships or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it said. I'm like, is that what's causing causing my headaches? Or all of our headaches? Collectively. gonna do that to your friend? Are you gonna come back to life and then just immediately kill your friend? Isn't that like the plot of Pet Cemetery or something? I've actually never seen the movie, so that's actually why I say it hesitantly. hesitatingly. Um, I think that's actually the plot though. Oh, that thing actually does climb now. I don't want to deal with this thing. Okay, cool. Wait, no, that's not cool. There we go. Okay, so where do I need to go? I think, I think I need to go back to the enemy area and then up. Um. Oh, you think it's because your sleep schedule got whack? That can do it, yeah. A whack sleep schedule definitely uh, can do it to uh, cause a headache, for sure. I know in the past I used to have a really bad sleep schedule, like really bad, and I would get headaches constantly. Um, I'm gonna wait a second. Their confinement, they have now scattered across the planet. This is no doubt the work of Raven Beat. His motives are still a mystery, but your Metroid DNA grants you immunity to the X parasites. You can even absorb them. Perhaps it was some kind of message. Regardless, the X are here. They are overrunning the planet. They must be destroyed. Hurry to your ship, Samus. I trust you will make it here safely. Yeah, in the past I used to have like a really bad sleep like schedule, like just bad sleeping habits in general. So like. Whenever I'd go like hang out with friends or something like that, I would have constant headaches. And uh, just basically put myself in a really bad situation. Oh gosh, it's this one. Um, just put myself in a bad situation overall to the point where like we'd be hanging out and I'm like, yeah, I can I can do this. And then just like, I don't know, we'd go to like Carl's Jr. or something like that. And then like I would just have to like take a quick nap while I'm while I'm there hanging out. Oh gosh. Um, and that was that was not a good thing to do. I should not have been doing that. Oops. Alright, all according to plan. Okay, so he's... He's definitely not going to be happy about that, so I need to get out of here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I would just do stuff like that and then like feel miserable. And uh, yeah, after I stopped doing that, then I was like, okay, no more headaches. I just kind of accepted it as like a... Uh-oh. Uh, okay, cool. 
I just kind of accept it as like a, a natural thing that happens to like people and didn't really chalk it up to my sleep schedule until like I got to a certain point where I think one day I just actually had a good like rest and was like, oh, it didn't happen. And then just put two and two together. But like, I think it also depends on like what you do too. Like if you're gonna have like a very like active day, yeah, you need to, you need to get that rest. You got a lot of headaches, sadly. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know people who like get them very frequently. Like it's just for medical reasons, they they get them for one reason or another, like with weather or like uh, just like they even if they have like sinus issues, they'll they'll get it too. So like stuff like that. Oh, that was a bad place for that enemy to be at. Uh, climb up. Cool. I'm gonna wait for him to go a little bit further. Okay, I think that's okay. Okay, cool. I should make him grab that. There we go. That is the way to go, right? No, that's not the way to go. Okay. Oops, I did not want to fall down here. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I guess I'll just deal with everything that's here now. Oh, I didn't see that thing on the floor. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. I got distracted by the shiny X that was floating around. Okay, there we go. That's not a thing. Let's hug the wall to the right. Let's see what's here. Oh, it does not hug the wall to the right. <laughs> okay, save room. I like how that X followed me in here. You guys saw that? <laughs> if that had hit me, though, I don't think it could have hit me because it's an X parasite, but if it had transformed into something and hit me, that would have been such cheese. Oh, they announced when they're in, uh, launching the Min Min Invisible? Nice. Nice. Can I parry this? Okay, I cannot parry that. <laughs> Here's your parry. I just like leave the room. I think I was supposed to go underneath it. I most certainly almost did die. You're absolutely correct on that. I don't even have to fight this thing. I can just leave. Oops. Let's not go up that way. <laughs> Let's go up this way, because if I had gone up that way, I would have died again. Okay, so I'm back here. Oh yeah, this room. I know exactly where I'm at now. Yeah. This is the part... Th you go through this part so much at, at this point in the game, too. Like, it's so, so common to, like have to come through his part. Now, do I go down first or do I go up? I think I'm supposed to go up first. Uh, no, I'm supposed to go down. Okay, because I, I can't go any other way now. I, I will have to go through that room eventually again, though. That's such a common crossroads for like when you're trying to get to different areas. The spin boost. Is this the one that does damage when I jump? I lost Sam Samus to jump. Okay, no, it, it is not. That's right, it's a screw attack. Why am I thinking that? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. And you can only do it once. This is the Flappy Bird ability, um, or at least the startup one for it. The screw attack is when you get the Flappy Bird ability. Let's wait for these things to cross. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
so okay, and I can't get through that, so I need to go back. No, I can't go down there either. Okay, that's fine. Can I get that? Can I get that missile expansion now, actually? I think I can. Uh, wait, no, I can't, I can't, no. It is, it is too high. I believe so. I'm pretty sure I can't get it. Okay, so can't do that yet. Oh, where did that thing spawn? Oh, I see it now. Oh, <laughs> this is not a good spot. Oh, that didn't hit it. <laughs> oh, man. That's so lame. I thought I hit it, but I was so much more worried about it than anything else because I was like, I have to get up there, so I can't can't really do anything to avoid it. That was kind of cool. I don't think I noticed it coming from the shadows. I know you guys didn't see anything to confirm it, but that right there, I pressed the... Uh, I pressed the trigger to do a... Uh, whoops. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he was going to come to where I was at. I pressed the trigger to do um, the dash. And I pressed it because I mixed up with Hollow Knight controls, even though I haven't been doing it this whole stream. Just in that one instance I did. Uh, it didn't mess me up, though. Nothing happened. But I just thought I pointed out because I was like, huh. <laughs> so I did. So that when he comes to where I'm at. No, yeah, there's there's no um, move assigned to that button yet. So like it wouldn't it wouldn't have been obvious uh, if I didn't mention it. Uh, but I just thought I'd mention it because I thought it was kind of funny. Because I think there is a move that is assigned to it, but I can't remember for sure. So, like, I just thought I'd point it out because I'm like, yeah, I, I want to say there might be at one point, but I'm not sure if that specific button will have one. But, like, on the PS4 controller that I play on, the, uh... What was the point in that room, actually? Oh, it's to get the double jump and then leaving. Okay, okay, I see now. Um, on the PS4 remote that I do play on. Uh, oh gosh, this is bad. <laughs> no, that was such a bad spot. I panicked so hard. Um, on the PS4 controller I do play on, the right trigger is, is what I use to dash. So like, Right now, I don't have any ability that does anything. Like, I'm gonna press it right now, and yeah, like nothing happens. Oh, it makes a move. I didn't even notice that. Like, it makes a sound. Yeah, so maybe if I go back there and like rewatch the playback, you might hear that like sound effect. But, um, for the most part, uh, yeah, that it just. It'll just make like a sound effect, and that's it. So I just kind of stood there, but thankfully I didn't lose because of it. So where do I need to go now? Um, I think I think I should be going back into the Emmy room if I remember correctly. Unless you're like me who just messes up that jump. <laughs> In which case, <laughs> you gotta make this whole entire journey first. Oh gosh, I didn't... Huh, that was weird. I didn't jump there? Oh, it's fine. Everything's in this... Everything in this room is dead anyway, so it's no big deal. Okay, so... 
There we go. That's how we do it. Oh gosh. You know what? I'm just oh no, no, that's not what I thought it was. <laughs> I thought that was a little uh, snow wave area, but it is. It was not. I got so lucky it wasn't closer. Or that I got. I didn't get frozen. go back up there again, but it's fine. At least I didn't die from it. Oh no, all my drops. <laughs> they despawned. Oh gosh. <laughs> that, was <so> <laughs> that was so dumb. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I didn't even think that would kill me. As in, I didn't even remember that that's what happens. Oh my gosh. That was literally the worst timing I could have... <laughs> that was the worst timing I could have gone to, uh, got myself into, getting into that room. I just walked in there and he killed me with his eyes. He didn't even think that would kill me? I didn't think so either. I completely forgot that that's his, uh... That that's his thing. Like, I know they just kind of, like, did it. For the showcase but like the thing was that I was kind of expecting at least to freeze me or for it to freeze me or something like that it's like nope everything everything is just very dangerous in this oh gosh I I don't know why I did that. I was like, wait, I can dash and then jump up immediately. And then um, as I did, I'm like, wait, no, I'm going to slide just a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm still laughing about the enemy thing, honestly speaking. I was like, what was I supposed to do? Not enter the room? <laughs> I'm like, that's so harsh. <laughs> And like, I feel like I reacted slow, but I'm like, at the same time, like, it was just so fast. Okay, there we go. Look at the little spaghetti stuck in the ceiling. You saw that? <laughs> it was for like a split second, but it, it was there. It was out for blood. Okay, so how is it? It's this and then this. Okay. No, you're totally fine. It was just it just had spawn. Yeah, it was just like very brief. I saw it in my peripheral only because like I was avoiding the attacks. So I was in the mindset to like be wary of anything coming from the walls as it was. And that's really the only reason I saw it. Let's uh, get to somewhere better. Is this okay? I think it is. This enemy's got a little bit of a weird, uh, weird like layout. Oh gosh, she picked up. <laughs> Wait, get down, get down, Samus. <laughs> what was that? I couldn't get down for some reason. Now he's gonna pop up here and, uh, okay. I had to wait for him to stand up. <laughs> Your cats are currently having a standoff. One is at one end of the hallway, the other is at the other end, hiding behind a scratching post. <laughs> they both want to go in, but neither wants to move first. <laughs> are they like, is that a thing that cats do when they want to play? Is they like observe each other? Because I hear that, but I can't help but think they're like, they're like scared of each other. But then I'm also thinking like, well, they also could be playing with each other. 
they could be scared of playing with each other. Alright, so I got the fire missile, or ice missiles. Gosh, I literally called it the exact opposite. <laughs> it puts out the fire plants. Oh, the cats don't like each other, so just waiting on each other. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a pretty human, human thing to do, too. Just, like, not liking somebody, so you just wait for them to pass by. You're just like, you go first. It's still kind of cute, though, I'm not going to lie. Maybe, maybe it's, like, not cute for them, but it's still kind of a cute, like image in my mind that I have painted now. Oh, nope. <laughs> I can't, I have to like, keep my distance from them. I keep thinking they're going to attack me a lot sooner and they just walk into me. They're like, I don't need to fight. <laughs> I can just sneeze on you and you'll be dead. Maybe that's not the best choice to say because that's actually like, relevant nowadays more than ever. <laughs> My bad. Ah, oh, how the times have changed. <laughs> at, the, uh, at this point, each of the yeah, each of them lay down. So you think it's gonna be a long standoff? <laughs> Do you ever get in a position where you just have to like? Oh, that's right. I can destroy these things now. Um, do you ever get in a position where, like, you have to just basically nudge them? Like, you have to pick one up and then, like, the other one sees it and they're like, Oh, okay, so I'm good now. Does that ever happen? Uh, where am I? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm here. <laughs> What is this thing? Is this the the one that checks the, the room for any breakable stuff? What did you guys call it last time? Like the GameCube? The futuristic GameCube? The Pulse Radar. Okay, it is. You've had them stay there for over an hour? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and when you picked up the disabled one, the other one walked right down the hallway. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, they just like will stand each other. Like they'll just have a standoff for that long. Jeez. They're like day 12. <laughs> the other one hasn't moved at this point. I'm too afraid to, to make a move now or not because they might move at the exact same time. Okay, so what's the breakable block here? Okay. Yeah, the game square, game square. That's right. Because then I mentioned the the game sphere from Drake and Josh. Uh, which way do I want to go? I think it's I think it's down, but I think there's an item if I go up. Uh, well, I guess I can check that actually. Okay, I think there is. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I updated it, but yeah, I updated the bot so it says that, but like, I didn't update it to be that often. Uh, oh gosh, I'm, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was, uh, I completely forgot that that was in that room, even though I was just in there a second ago. Uh, yeah, I updated it to be like, honestly, it should be like every 40 minutes. I was like, 40 minutes seems like enough time for it to not be that talkative. And it feels like it's going off like very often. So I'm gonna, after the stream, I'm gonna change that so it's not as often. Um, Cause when I was reading the description for it, it's a little, it, it, it has it set like on a specific time um, to be like on like the, the hour. So I was like, oh, okay. If I do it like every 40 minutes, I'm assuming that means uh, let's say like for example 640 and 720 and then you know so on and so forth but I think it's kind of going off a little bit more often than I thought so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have to to, to 
to figure that out. I might set it to like maybe every hour and see how often it does that. But I think it's alternating between the two because I only have two things and uh, it's, it's doing it more often than I hope so. I mean, you can always... <laughs> You can always like talk to the bot or something like that, tell it to stop. I was gonna say like you could always tell it to like shut up, but I'm like, no, the bot's the bot's actually pretty good. I don't wanna I don't wanna say that. I mean, although I can't really stop you. I don't think the bot's gonna to stop you either, so. It would just make you look bad in the bot, but you know. <laughs> if you don't care about that, then then by all means. Yeah, there, uh, the original way I tried to do it was like through Streamlabs. I tried to do it through there, but I couldn't, for whatever reason, I couldn't find the thing. And it shouldn't be that hard, but uh, when I was looking it up, all the videos I was watching looked like they were using older la uh, older versions of Streamlabs, like an older site. So I was like, okay, let me check Nightbot. And then I found it there. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll stop on Streamlabs for now, just use Nightbot version and see how it is. So this was, this was a demo run. Um, and then so seeing as how it is now, I'm like, okay, it's not bad, but maybe I could do still go with the Streamlabs route and then do one for one and one for the other. I'm not sure. So this was this is like the first stream where I've done it, though. So that that's mainly the just, you know, the experiment phase of things. Okay, what does this one do? I didn't even get to see what he does because I killed him too fast. Okay, this is one of the hardest upgrades to get. Oh, you just realized now you can uh, <laughs> you can delete the bot messages. Yeah, as a as a mod, you should be able to do that. Yeah. So this is one of the hardest items to get in the game. Um, I believe. I believe I know how to do it. My biggest concern is that this enemy is going to respawn, so I might die here. I might. If it does. I'm going to go with the mindset that it's not going to. It's not going to respawn. Okay, that door took... Actually, I guess I can just check. Okay, it didn't respawn. It didn't respawn. So I might be in luck. Why is it... Oh, I can't get that far, okay. okay. There's something else about this that makes this kind of hard. Where is it? Oh, you know what? Okay, I remember now, I remember now. Yeah, there's a little block there you have to destroy before. Yeah, so you gotta use the Phantom Boost up here and then do that. Okay, it's uh, it's 10 missiles, so I feel like that's pretty worth it. So I'm gonna try and do that. Gosh, okay. How... How do I do it when I'm in Morph Ball? I think, I think I can just press the button and then jump off. Oh, dang it. Okay. I almost had it. Um, okay, so I got to use the, the power bomb and then do that. This is actually one of the hardest ones to get, so I want to see if I can get it, especially if it has, like, 10 items. But you have to, like, be super precise with the timing. Gosh, did I... Gosh, did I do it too early? Um, what if I, hmm, I'm trying to remember exactly how to do it even, I, I might not try too much, because it might take me a little bit longer than, than I'd like to, yeah, because if I stop, then it just stops right there, so I think I need to actually activate the thing before.
One more time. One more time, and then I'll just continue. Because that's how you activate it. Okay. Oh yeah, and I can't even press down once I'm down here. Okay, it, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Maybe I'll come back to it, but for now I'll just continue. It is supposed to be like one of the hardest ones though, so I was like, I've done it before. I have the 100% uh, complete item thing file of Bob Bob, but I could not, um, I could not remember the way I was supposed to do it exactly, so I'm like, okay, I won't, I won't remember that too much. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how is, what is the blast range on this? I remember it being really bad. The moment I saw it come out, I'm like, wait, if it's, if there's something between me and the wall or me and the bomb, like the little wall there, am I okay? And I was like, I think I am. Cause there's one attack that I definitely remember. If there's a wall between you, you're safe. That was not the attack. So. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh, this is not good. And sure enough, I was... I was right. Where did the other one go? Okay, there it is. Ugh, okay. Okay, so you have to destroy it. Okay, that, that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, so is this enemy? Okay, what is this? Okay, sweet. This area, Frenia, appears to have been a sanctuary. The Mothin conducted ceremonies and rituals here. Now it all lies in ruin. It was likely destroyed in the chaos following the X's arrival. That would match what Quiet Rogue said. They have turned it into a comic. I have also detected the presence of an unusually powerful X. We call that the Emmy in this area could see through terrain and stun targets with an electric shock. My sensors indicate this Emmy has been reactivated. We can assume that Raven Beat is behind this too. Make good use of the Phantom Cloak and you should have nothing to fear. Be careful, Samus. Gosh, I actually really am looking forward to this Emmy though, because I do get one of my favorite abilities. Okay, so this area is going to be kind of tough, so I'm probably going to leave it for an extreme because I, I know I got Hollow Knight coming up soon. So, I, maybe if I had gone through this a little bit quicker, I might have been able to, like, beat it by an extreme, but I'm not entirely sure from this point how much would be left. I guess it would just be dependent on how things go. I am very close to the ending, though, so, um, I, I'll see... I'll see how the next stream goes and then kind of decide from there if maybe like I'll like do it a little bit longer or you know how how it would be but I know I'm definitely very close to the end and so I knew <laughs> no no you're totally fine you don't have to answer that <laughs> if anything I should be able to answer that because I've beaten this game twice already <laughs> but but yeah no um I will go ahead and and take a little bit of a break here so i'll hop back on in about 15. oh you thought i was talking about hollow knight no no i'm talking about I'm talking about metroid dread the the game of the year for 2021. gosh it feels like that really didn't feel like that long ago that they had that announcement but um yeah so with that i'll take a little bit of a break i'll be back on and playing hollow knight in about 15 ish minutes and then just kind of you know see what i'll do in there because I know at this point it's really just like finding some Easter eggs, finding some extra quests and stuff like that. And I'm I'm looking forward to that. So that's uh that's gonna be that's gonna be what's up next. So um, I'll be streaming this again on Wednesday uh, around the same time, uh, 3:30 Pacific Standard Time. But if there is an update to that, I'll post it in the Twitch page where I have the schedule as well as in the Discord. Um, 
when I make my announcement and whatnot. So, um, with that, uh, I do want to thank everybody for being here. It's it's fun talking to y'all, and then I'll I'll see you in a little bit for for Hollow Knight. So, all right, see ya.